Hello again, Energy Fitness Winchester. Hope you're doing well. You should know by now, my name's Chris. I'm going to take you through the next 30 minutes. So for today, we have a lower body focus. So we're just going to focus on the legs and those glutes. All right. So as always, get yourself that space. Get yourself a mat to be all the way down the ground. Get yourself that water bottle. Make sure you keep yourself hydrated. And we're going to go through. All right. So let's get that warm up done. So start off with those squats, feet shoulder width apart, head and chest up. All we're gonna do is sit down nice and low, pause, drive up tall. So focus slowly down, drive on up. That's it, good. So just keep that head and chest up, try not to hinge forward. Just focus on sitting down like you're on a chair, up, down, and up. Let's try and progress it to a little bit of a jump squat. So we're just gonna get that heart rate up, that a little bit more. Don't worry if you can't add the jump, just go a little bit more powerful on that stand. So again, slow down, drive up, add in that jump if you can. This is just a warm up, we're just getting that body prepared. So shake it off. Next one is that front lunge. So take that left foot forward, knee almost to the ground, and then drive back. So alternate between right forward and back. As you can see, as I'm stepping, that knee doesn't tap the ground, almost does. Just keep that tension throughout the whole of that movement. Up. Again, alternate. If we can, see if we can add a little bit of a jump or just add a little bit of that hop. So as you come back up, just hop the legs. So focus on the jump, so on that height, or a little bit, a little hop. Right, shake it off there. So the next one, so just gonna have that hip hinge. So legs nice and straight, just hinge down, stand up. Hinge down, stand up. So push those knees back, slight bend. So it's not like a squat. It is a nice straight leg, hinge down. So you should be looking right down to the ground. Drive up, squeeze those glutes as you come forward. Down, up. So this one, just getting those hamstrings to come down, squeezing those glutes. Okay, so the last two, we're just going to take it down to the ground. So push up position for me. From here, all we're going to do, you're going to get that knee in and back, alternate between, so it's that mountain climber. Again, do it at your own pace. Nice and slow control, drive the knee in if you fancy it. Try and get that speed up a little bit, just to get that heart rate up. Relax there. Last one. Stay in that push up position. Go for that plank jack. So feet together, out, in, and out. So off we go. Just those last few seconds. Keep going for me. Just going to quickly sort out this timer. Perfect. Right. Relax yourself there. Stand yourself up tall. So for this one, you are going to need a little bit of that resistance bit of that weight. So dumbbells, kettlebells, rucksack full of stuff, whatever you can find. First move you're going to do is a one and a half squat. So using a dumbbell, lock it in that goblet position, head and chest up. We're going to come down all the way, up halfway, down again, stand up. So it's down, up, down, up, for that halfway on that first one. All right, then you've got, so some nice straight leg deadlifts. So just like you did during that warm up, that hip hinge, we're gonna add in that weight. So we're gonna bring the hands down and drive up. Okay, so we're really attacking those hamstrings. Just go as far as you can. Last one is that split squat. So it's that reverse lunge position. From there, we're just gonna keep both feet planted. Come down, up, down, up. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. So this can all be done without a dumbbell if you don't need to. You can do it all body weight, entirely up to you. All right, so. We're going to get going very, very shortly. Grab what you need. If you need a chance to get a little bit of weight, I'm going to give you, down by the counter, 25 seconds. All right. So 25 seconds to grab yourself a little bit of weight. If you need that drink, if you need to move some stuff out of the way, do so. So one and a half squat. It's coming your way. So 10 seconds. So grab that weight. Get yourself ready. 
So start off aggressive, we can always rest. Three, two, one, let's go. So all the way down, up halfway, back down, stand up tall. And again, all the way down, up halfway, back down, stand up tall. So if you're using body weight and you can go a little bit quicker, do so. We can get a little bit more volume. If you've got that nice heavy weight, slow and controlled. Remember, we've got a straight leg deadlifts coming up, just like in that warm up. All right, relax yourself there. Heavy weight then. So weight, front of the legs. All we're gonna do is hinge down and drive up. Yeah, one dumbbell, two dumbbells, up to you, off we go. So slowly down, drive on up. If you want those dumbbells to finish just underneath the knees, mid part of that shin, and you're driving up. Where are you feel it? Those hamstrings and those glutes. So try not to bend the knees, push them back, a slight bend, not a full bend. Good, one more. And relax yourself there. So you might want a little bit of a lighter weight. So split squat, take one step back, right foot. Should drive up and down. So down and up. Keep both feet planted. So down, up, down, and up. So on that top point, as that leg extends, squeeze that glute, come down slowly, drive up again. So breathe in, all the way down, explode on that well. If it's getting too hard, drop the weight. Focus body weight. Yeah, relax, shake off. Same thing, other leg. So this time, left leg back, right foot forward. 30 seconds, three, two, one. Off we go. So again, down, drive up. Slow down, breathe in. Squeeze that glute at that top point. Really give it a good squeeze. Halfway, 15 seconds. And again, keep that head and chest up. Proud chest. Get one more. Three, two, one. And relax. So we're going to round two. Same thing, 30 seconds on. One and a half squats with that dumbbell. Ready? Off we go. So down, up halfway, down, up. So remember that top point. Squeeze those glutes, thrust that hip forward. And again, head and chest up, up halfway, down, up, squeeze. Ten more seconds. So try and get two more. You might need to go a little bit quicker in order to do so. Three. Two, one, and relax. So back in to that straight leg deadlift. So hinging down, drive it on up. Nice heavy weight choice. Let's go. So if it's too hard and your feet are literally close together, take them out slightly and just come down and drive. Otherwise, the closer together, the harder you're gonna feel it. Okay, back of the legs in those hamstrings. Two more reps, 10 seconds. And relax. So, last two of round two, split squat. Get the legs spinning a little bit. Go for that body weight. Ready? Step back, down, up. Remember, keep that head and chest up, looking forward. And just go as low as you can without that knee tapping the ground. Keep the tension throughout the whole movement. If you've got a chair or something elevated, you can always put your foot up. It makes it a lot, e a lot easier, a lot harder. It's gonna increase if you've got that foot elevated. Swap, get ready for the last bit of round two. We've got one more round. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Remember, drop the weight. If you feel you can only literally get down here, up, drop the weight, try and focus on that depth. And then 
keeping that head and chest up, keeping yourself stable. Good, folks, we're getting one more. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, relax, one more round. Those legs boots should be literally throbbing now. Let's get that last round done. Three, two, one. Off we go. So again, down, up halfway, down, up. See, I'm already sweating. That big muscle group of the legs. It's gonna really help get that heart rate up. Good, and relax yourself there. Perfect. So, next one. Good. Straight leg like this. Get that weight. Three, two, one. Off we go again. Straight legs. Minimal bend in the knee up. Dumbbells just below the knees. Dry butt up. Good. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. So last minute. So 30 seconds one leg, 30 seconds on the other. Split squat, three, two, one, off we go. Down, up. This one, we're literally going straight from one into the next. Good, last couple. Good, and switch. Other side, straight in, no rest. Good, last 15 seconds. Continue, don't stop. Just regress, drop the weight. Last couple. Three, two, one. Good. Have a relax yourself there. Grab yourself a drink. Ooh, I say. So you've got a minute and a half. Just done now. We're going to go into your next little section. So this bit, we have two rounds, four exercises. And it's literally just going to be 45 seconds, 45 seconds. 45 seconds, 45 seconds, one into the next. So we're really gonna get some good volume up. Heart rate's gonna increase with it. All right, so your first one, you can do this with a weight, but the way your legs are feeling now, you might wanna change that up. So squat position, you're gonna go down for three. So one, two, three, and stand. One, two, three, and stand. Yeah, so three pulse squats to a stand. Your next one, next 45 seconds, just focus on one side. Focus on the right, reverse lunge as you can't, drive that knee. Down and drive, yeah? So really emphasis on that power up. Again, if you need to, just slow it down. 45 seconds on the right, straight into 45 seconds, same on the left. So down, powerful drive. And then you've got your squat jacks to finish. So feet out, up, and down. Bit of a cardio finisher. All right, so get yourself ready. Guys, we're gonna get going in 10 seconds. So three pulse squats, down for three pulse, up for a stand. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, stand. One, two, three, stand. Again, if you can go with a little bit of speed, do so. Otherwise, take it slow and controlled. Get okay, all the workouts, you take them to your own ability. Just push yourself as much as you physically can. Oh God, his legs feeling it from that first block already. So, 20 seconds. Or should I say 10 seconds? Woo. Reverse lunge into that knee raise, that right side. Three, two, 
one. So come down, knee almost to the ground, drive up. Down, drive, down, drive. Yeah, so imagine you've got a block of wood, as that knee's coming up, bang, smack, smash through it, yeah? So down and up, down, up. If you need to, slow it down, less power, just focus on the movement. All right, so we want to push that weight to the center of that left foot, keep ourselves steady. Get ready, swap it over. Three, two, one, other side. So left foot back, drive up, down, up, down, up. And really slow on that way down. Chance to breathe in, generate power on the way out. Breathe down, breathe on, up, yeah. So we've got just over 15 seconds remaining. We're gonna finish with that squat jack. Up. So get ready. Just under 10 seconds. So this car is gonna get involved now. Three, two, one. So out wide into that sumo squat, up on the toes, back down. Okay, if you need to, you can walk it out, squat, come together, and just go as quick as you can. Otherwise, really focus. Down, up, down, up. Yeah, so this is your little finisher. You've got a minute rest coming up. 20 seconds. So now three minutes, long time. Just keep yourself going. If you can't keep going, again, walk it or sumo squat. Yeah. So all we want to do is focus on moving the whole of that work time. And relax. Shake off, minute recovery, grab yourself a drink. We're going to do it again. So deep breaths in. All right. So again, after this next three minutes, Another recovery, last block. Okay, so this one, our last one is gonna be really, really glute focused. Good. Right, 20 seconds, get yourself ready. Woo. So three pulse crunches, one, two, three, stand up tall, down for three, up for one. Our time is coming to an end. Next three minutes. Three, two, one. Let's go. So down for three. Up. Down for three. Up. Just 45 seconds a piece on each exercise. Don't focus on the time. Just focus on the move that you're supposed to be doing. One, two, three. Up. Yeah, so feet shoulder width apart. Don't worry if you can't get all the way down, just go as low as you can. That is your bottom point, and then you stand up. So it can be here for three, and up, or all the way down, and up. Just keep that head and chest going. So you reverse lunge to that knee drive. Coming up in three, two, one. Let's go, set that right knee back, down, up, down, and up. For those of you who love a bit of a challenge, come down, add in a kick, down, add in a kick, yeah? So that's a little bit of progression there. Just make it a little bit harder. Otherwise, stick to that nice, powerful knee drive on the way up, yeah? So you've got a couple options there to choose from. Just remember, we've got 15 more seconds left to go. You've only got 30 seconds. So if you've been doing that kick, regress back down, so that knee rise, that knee drive, should I say. Oh, my legs. Minor burden, yours should be two. Ready, three, two, one. Let's switch. Down, up, down, up. Okay, if you need that break, take it, shake it off, and go into it again. Okay, we can just go to that reverse. Lunge, 
take out the power if it means that you can continue to move. Otherwise, keep going with that kick, with that knee, or just that reverse lunge. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go then, squat jacks out, down. So remember, nice and quick, down, up, down. Just like a normal squat. Sumo squat is a little bit wider, wider than shoulder width. Feet facing out, so that 10 to 2 o'clock position. Coming down, up on the toes, back down and out. Again, just go as low as you can. Still be able to keep that head and chest up. 15 seconds, just over. Again, if you need to, just go for that quick stand sumo squat. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Oh, I say. So you've got your last block coming up your way. So as soon as that first block, in essence, we're working 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. It's nice and simple, rather than having to worry about the reps, just go for time, yeah. So 30 on, 10 off. First one, it's in that pulse leg lift. So you're gonna start in the box position, right leg nice and straight, and you're simply gonna come up and down. So you're gonna pulse. You have 30 seconds if you need to, bend the knees slightly, just focus on coming up. Once on 30 seconds one side, recover, switch 30 seconds on the other. We're gonna get that dumbbell back in. We're gonna place it up on those hips. So, we've got that hip bridge. So, keeping support through the shoulders. You're gonna drive through both heels with the dumbbell up onto those hips, like so. So drive on up, squeeze that glute, slowly down, tap the floor, powerful drive up. Yeah, if you need to, drop the weight. Your last one is then that lateral lunge. We had all that, that dumbbell, Head and chest up, you're gonna take a lateral step out. That right leg, as it comes out, dumbbells either side or just the hands drive up. Same thing to the other side. So it's gonna alternate between left and right. Yeah, so we're gonna get going, just over 10 seconds. Get in position ready, you've got your pulse leg lifts. Start on that right side, so box position. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, so up, down. Up and down. So it's very glute focused. So just make sure you keep that glute nice and squeezed. Good, right relax there, shake it off. So you're gonna go into that other side. Ready? So left leg out, up and pulse. Take away up and down. If you need to, bend the knee, drive up, down, up. You can always rest the leg if you need to, and then come back up for a few more. Come down, relax, come up for a few more. Give your last eight seconds. So you've got that hip bridge, that glute bridge coming up. Oh, good, relax there. So grab that dumbbell or dumbbells. Or again, go for body weight. So, up onto those hips, heels in, off we go. So drive up, squeeze, down slowly, relax on the floor, readjust up, slowly come down. So you wanna see that nice, powerful drive up, and down, up. Get breathing on the way down, explode on the way up. Give it the last few seconds then. So again, just breathe it in, slow it up, and relax yourself there. Turn that weight off. Again, for this one, try it with a dumbbell. You might find you can go a little bit deeper with that body weight option. So it's that lateral lunge. Ready? So down, drive up, and switch over, down, and up. So sit that bum back, keeping that head and chest up with it. Drive up, same thing. To the other side. So you can use one dumbbell in sort of a goblet position. 
You can do them down on each leg or stick with that body weight. Last five. So you get the other side done and relax yourself there. Good. One round done, two more to go, and that is it. So back down to the ground. So that pulse leg lift. Ready? Up we go. So remember, you can have that breather if you need to, if that glute is being a little bit tired. Have a breather when you're ready. Straight again, pulse up and down. That top point, back down halfway, up again. Last four, three, two, one, and relax. So move over, back to that left side, so same thing. Straight leg, have a breather when you need. Off you go. So up, down. Last few seconds. Three, two, one, and relax there. Good. So, next one coming up. All we're going to be doing, you're going to get yourself down back into that the hip bridge section. So, down, oh. dumbbell up, nice and heavy. Remember, heels right in. Push up, squeeze down, up. Hold and squeeze slowly down. Again, it's a nice powerful drive up. That's why you exhale, breathing on the way down slowly, tap the bum, drive straight back up. Get up, relax yourself there. So, lateral lunge. Last one of round number two. Right, so down, up, other side. Keep that head and chest up, just sit that bum back. So that leg that's going out, that's the one that's bending. You're coming down to that bent leg. The other leg nice and straight, drive up, switch sides. Good, 10 more seconds. Good, right, last one. Quick fire round. So, 20, 20, 20, 20, and then that is you all done. So back into that box. Start with that right leg up. So again, it's just 20 seconds a piece. One move straight after the other. Ready, change in three, two, one. Straight in, other side. Good, keep going, 10 more seconds. Remember that hip bridge. Four, three, two, one. Spin around nice and quick. So up, straight into it. Again, just 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go there, last 20 seconds. Up onto those feet, nice and quick. Down, up, switch. Good. So you've got your cool down coming up straight after this. Get them done. Try and get two more on each side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and relax yourself there. Really good stuff. So that is your workout complete, just the cool down to finish. So if you need to hold on to something for a bit of balance, a bit of support, you're gonna grab that right foot, bring your knees together, drive that hip all the way forward. That's it. 
drop it down, shake it off. Same thing, other side. Oh, hit a smack your thumb. Oh, just remember knees together, drive up. You want to drive the hip nice and forward. Again, if you need to hold onto something for a bit of balance, then do so. Last few seconds. You relax it there. So for this one, feet pretty much together. Keep those legs nice and straight. Just hinge all the way down. As early as you can go, stretch into the back of those legs. So remember, plenty of live workouts on the Energy app. Simply go on to find a class section. You've got loads on there from your high intensity stuff to your low impact, low intensity. Choose book on, you'll get login details an hour before the session. If you don't get them, don't be afraid to give us a call, give us an email, and of course we'll send you them through just in case you haven't got them. Alright, so it's 50 plus a week from Monday the 9th. Alright. Stand yourself nice and slowly through that spine. Good. So from here, I want you to take a seat down on the ground. Legs out nice and straight. I want you to tell that left leg over the right. I want you to hug that knee in. So just really squeeze into the chest. Stretch through that glute. Again, not just classes on find a class. So you're gonna see educational training. All right, so if you're interested in powerlifting, what it is, how to get into it, etc., there's gonna be stuff on there like it. What is core training? How to look. There's tons to keep you going through these next few weeks, all right? If you release, stretch out, other side, hug it in to that chest. As well as that, you've got your reward section. So again, from our different partners. So Jordan Fitness, you'll see obviously we have a lot of Jordan equipment in our gym. 15% off on there, 10% off grenade. Yeah, so again, there's plenty coming, there's more to add. So that's just the beginning. So just keep an eye out. All right, thank you very much for supporting us for these next few weeks. Again, we are independent. Good, release out of that one. Legs straight, hinge forward, a bit more on those hamstrings. So just go as far as you can, hold that bottom position. Good, and release yourself there. Fantastic stuff as always. Again, keep an eye out, plenty more on-demand stuff coming. I'm recording stuff daily for you guys to keep you active throughout. Again, anything you request, send it through Instagram, Facebook. If there's a particular workout that you love, let us know, I'll give it a go, I'll try and implement it, all right? Anyway, take care, have a lovely rest of your day, whatever you're gonna be doing, we'll see you soon.